Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how to make one of our favorite fall drinks. It's cozy and warm and perfect for those crisp mornings and cool evenings and that is my pumpkin spice rooibos latte. So I'm sure you all have heard about the bulletproof style coffees. I actually love drinking them. You just blend in a little bit of butter and coconut oil and sometimes honey into coffee and it makes a delicious frothy drink. It's so good. We enjoy rooibos tea in our family. It's very healthy herb. It's delicious and it has kind of a sweet fruity flavor to it. It pairs very well with pumpkin spices like cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, allspice, and then of course pumpkin puree, which are all beautiful for autumn. We love drinking this tea in the cooler months especially. The herb itself has lots of health benefits. It's anti-inflammatory, has some antioxidants in it, it's good for bone health. Healthy fats have a lot of benefits as well. Organic coconut oil and grass-fed butter are what I use in this recipe. I go more into depth on this on the blog post, and I also have the printable recipe. So I will leave that in the link below, but let me show you how I make this delicious fall drink. I start by adding two tablespoons of loose leaf rooibos tea to my French press and four cups of boiling water. Now this is more than usual recipes call for. I just like my tea really strong for this recipe. It makes it taste better. If you don't have a French press, you can also just brew this in a bowl and then just pour it over a tea towel or fine mesh strainer to strain out the tea leaves. After about 10 minutes of brewing, pour the tea. One quarter cup of butter. Three tablespoons of coconut oil. Three tablespoons of honey. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Two teaspoons of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg to a blender and blend it on high until it is nice and frothy. Serve it immediately for a frothy and delicious pumpkin spice rooibos latte. So you can also add a couple tablespoons of pureed pumpkin to this recipe to give it a little bit more of that fall flavor. I sometimes, instead of pumpkin, I will add a little bit of pureed acorn squash or a little bit of pureed butternut squash, which to do that, you can just cut it in half and bake it in the oven. I actually share a full tutorial here on my YouTube channel and on my blog on how to cook a pumpkin from scratch. So I will leave a link to that in the description and up above in the cards, but this tastes delicious with a little bit of fresh winter squash blended into it, whether it's pumpkin, butternut squash, or acorn squash. Well, I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. I normally don't even measure. I just throw some good, strong rooibos tea into the blender with some coconut oil, some grass-fed butter, honey, some of those spices. Give it a good blend and it's nice and frothy. Now you wanna serve it immediately because that froth kind of dies down after a little bit of time, but immediately it just froths up so nice and bubbly. My kids love it when they come in from a cold day, if they're outside playing in the snow or even just playing on the playground in the winter or fall. It is so delicious to warm you up, maybe if you have a cozy fire to sit by. I will leave a link in the description below to where I get my rooibos tea. Um, I've sourced it a few different places and I have my favorites. And also I will leave a link to the recipe card that I have on my blog, which you can print off if you have some kind of recipe binder or pin for later in a fall recipes board. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.